Welcome to jQuery Mobile School. This is the fifth video in the series. In the first five videos, you've learned how to create a dynamic app. In this video, we are specifically going to look at what we have done and how we can simplify the code. So, what we've done previously is we have used JavaScript to dynamically create HTML based on a Java based on a JSON object like you know we did something like generate movie link which um, created a list item and an anchor tag and then added a on click action listener and we passed in certain parameters we also created you know detailed pages using JavaScript and we had our HTML within JavaScript we had to do a lot of escaping and we had to manually change pages so this is how we could write the dynamic app using the JSON object we could create the HTML based on the JSON object using JavaScript so this is good but this is not a great way uh, of um, coding mainly because it's very hard to understand like if you just look at this it's so hard to understand what this movie page is it's so hard to understand if I miss some escaping or not it's super buggy like if there's some problem in the parameter in one place you'll have to look at every single function at a debugger like I've put in here and understand where the problem is and it's a nightmare to refactor. Let's say you wanted to add a field. Now you have not only propagated it here, but you have to propagate everywhere the function needs it. So there are better ways to do it and solve this problem. We use we can use client side MVC framework. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change all of our code and we're gonna use backbone JS to um, to modularize our code into model view and controller so that it's easy to understand what piece of JavaScript is doing what separating the concerns of a view versus a model versus a router right? or a controller to use backbone you need backbone JS which has a single dependency on underscore We'll be using mustache templates. So mustache is a template um, that you can specify within your HTML. That way you don't end up putting HTML in your JavaScript. So we'll use these three new libraries. So we'll like, include these external files. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview. In the next video, I'm going to go through the details of all of these things. So what we do is we exclude, we include the external files. We create a router, which is the first thing the code starts at. So if you don't have a path, it goes to the index. If you have a path with detailed movie name, it goes to the details of the movie. So this router is basically routing all your incoming API URL, REST URLs into appropriate actions. So this is your controller or a router. So we create a router entity which understands which JavaScript is responsible for doing what kind of view rendering and what models are required so it has the central knowledge of everything. Then we create a bunch of views. So we create the movie list view which is the front listing of our movies. So this view is a backbone view like this one was a backbone router so this is all the backbone concept so we create a backbone view which understands how to render this HTML the detailed HTML a view is the front end part of the code so this JavaScript movie list view understands how to create that detailed view similarly we create the detailed view which understands how to create the detail view. The previous one was the list view, this one's the detail view. So it's again a backbone view. It understands how to 
be it this image tag, be it with HTML or trailer, etc. This view understands how to create these list items and then this filter checkbox. So we created a bunch of views and we created a router that understands whether it's a list item or a detailed view, where should it route to. Now, all of these JavaScript files, we include all of these JavaScript files. We include the external libraries, created a router, we created a views, and we'll have this starting point called application.js. Application.js is responsible for calling the router. The router is responsible for calling the views. So the control flow is from HTML to application, application to router, router to the views. So once we include all of these JavaScript files, we should have a working model similar to the previous one, but in a much refactored way. You can find a complete working code at this link. The name of the file is 5 trailer backbone. So file trailer HTML is the one without backbone code. File trailer backbone is with H with backbone. So you will see that how easy it is to maintain, how easy it is to find issues, how easy it is to you know understand the code. In the next video, I'm gonna go through the details of all of these views, routers, the application JSON, and um, what are the things we had to change in jQuery Mobile so that it worked fine with Backbone.js. Thanks. Happy learning.